Hey Credit Warriors, and this is the American Express Platinum Card. It's Amex's top tier travel card, well, apart from the invite-only black card, and a favorite amongst travelers. It gets you into the Centurion Lounge, it's got all sorts of travel credits, and a load of other benefits, Hilton Gold status, Marriott Gold status, etc. But, American Express has just brought in some quite significant changes to this card, that will affect some people more than others, depending on what strategy you are using. And we are gonna go through all of those changes in this video. Hey guys, my name is Ben Hedges, AKA The Credit Shifu. If you like credit card and personal finance and luxury travel tips and tricks, do subscribe here on YouTube. You can also follow me on all of the micro content platforms like Instagram, Reels, TikTok, etc. All of my handles and usernames are below. All right, so let's get into these changes on the Amex Platinum and most of these, I'm afraid, are negative. There is one that is kind of positive. I'll get into that right at the end of this video, so do stick around for that, but most of them are negative, and uh, let's tell you about the most severe one first, and that is that the fee for authorized user cards on the Amex Platinum is going up quite considerably. So previously, you would pay $175 for up to three authorized user platinum cards. And those platinum cards would obviously come with benefits like getting you into the Centurion Lounge, Priority Pass membership, TSA pre-check credit, Global Entry credit, etc., Hilton Gold status, a lot of pretty good benefits. So it was a really good deal. And a lot of people use this for their family members. For example, a dad could get three authorized user cards for three teenage sons or daughters. Just a little note, you can't get authorized user cards if you're under 13, okay? so. For those with young children, you would be out of luck with this. But it was a really good deal. You could get three uh, family members authorized user cards and they would all get lounge access, etc. And then after three, you'd pay $175 for each additional one. But, you know, $175 for three was a really good deal. Well, that is changing. So the price for an authorized user card is going up from $175 to $195. But get this, you don't get three for $195 anymore and then... 195 for each additional one after the three, it is 195 for each. So if you previously used three authorized user cards, okay, for 175, your bill for those three cards is going to be going up to $585. It's like a 200% increase almost. So that's really crazy and it's really disappointing as well. What's the reason they're doing this? I think really the reason they are increasing this fee is because of lounge overcrowding, all right? In the Centurion Lounge, everyone's complaining it's overcrowded. We did that video a while back with Jazzy where we showed a lot of pictures of people lining up with really long lines for the Centurion Lounge, okay? It is getting overcrowded and they brought in the whole no free guests unless you spend $75,000 thing at the beginning of this year. And perhaps that hasn't worked to solve the overcrowding problem because they figured out people are getting around it with authorized user cards. Well, now they're bringing in this whole, you know, more expensive authorized user card thing to cope with that, I guess, either to hope that less people will have authorized user cards um, or to bring in more money so they can expand the lounges, one or the other. So that is really disappointing. It will have an effect on people who were using that strategy. However, if you didn't have any authorized users, then this actually has no effect whatsoever on you. So you kind of dodge the bullet there. All right, let's move on to the next one, and that is that the spend requirement for the welcome bonus on the Amex Platinum is going up. Now, the current public bonus is 80,000 points. You can sometimes find higher bonuses with incognito mode or referral or whatever, but the spending requirement, no matter what bonus it is that you're getting, the spending requirement has always been $6,000 in six months to get that bonus, which is pretty reasonable, $1,000 a month. That is going up from $6,000 to $8,000 in six months for new card members to get their bonus. Now that's not really a big deal in my opinion because it used to be $1,000 a month, now it's like 1,333 recurring per month, okay? It's really, it's really not a very big increase. However, it will just make it a little bit harder if you wanna get the bonus quickly, like in one or two months. You'd have to spend 2,000 more in a short period of time if you want to get it quickly. If you do actually spread it out over six months, then to me, this really isn't a big deal. That isn't the only negative change to do with the bonus, okay? There is another point as well, which will uh, be kind of disappointing for people who are employing a certain strategy. We'll talk about that, and then we'll get into talking about the one positive change uh, on the Amex Platinum, so do stick around for that. But first, if you have American Express cards like the Amex Platinum, 
or any other Amex cards for that matter. A really useful app is the smartphone app Max Rewards, okay, the sponsor of today's video. The premium version of Max Rewards, Max Rewards Gold, activates all of your Amex offers for you, adding them to your card so that you never miss a deal, okay? I actually, the other day, I shopped on Dell.com and I didn't even realize that I had a Dell offer added to my card by Max Rewards and I got like 10% off. I've had it before as well at PetSmart when I bought a cat and I got a discount, I saved some money there. Yeah, got home, got the email and saw it like, boom, wow, I saved some money. So you can get actually a free month of that with my link below, okay? A free month of Max Rewards Gold. But in addition to the gold version, there are a lot of other free features with Max Rewards as well. Like the app actually adds all of your cards from all of your different issuers into one easy to use dashboard. So you can view all your transactions, your balances, upcoming bills, all in one place and your points and miles balances as well. So do click my link below to get either a free month of Max Rewards Gold or just to try out the free features and see if you like it. Okay, let's now look at the one other negative change to do with the welcome bonus. And that is that they have added language to the terms and conditions to make you ineligible to get welcome bonuses on all of the different types of platinum card if you'd already got the bonus on one of them. So let me read out exactly what they said and you'll probably understand it from this. You may not be eligible to receive a welcome offer if you have or have had this card, the platinum card from American Express exclusively for Charles Schwab, the platinum card from American Express exclusively for Morgan Stanley, or previous versions of these cards. So if you don't know, there are a load of other co-branded versions of the platinum card like the Charles Schwab Platinum, which they mentioned, Morgan Stanley Platinum, etc. Now, it used to be that these were viewed as different products by American Express. So if you got the Charles Schwab Platinum bonus, for example, and then you went and opened the Vanilla Platinum, which is what we call the regular Platinum, you would still be able to get the bonus on the regular Platinum card, okay? Amex usually has the rule of one bonus per lifetime, the once in a lifetime rule. So if you had the regular Platinum, you couldn't close it and then open it again a few years later and get the bonus again, all right? You'd have to actually reincarnate and then in your next life, apply for the platinum and get the bonus. But you could get around it by opening different versions of the platinum card. Well, now that seems to have come to an end. The language isn't absolute. It says you may not be eligible. So perhaps if you're a high spender on platinum cards, they might be like, oh, this guy makes us a lot of money. Screw it, let's just give him the bonus anyway, right? So your mileage may vary, but right now, at least it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get the bonus on different versions of the Platinum. They're not being treated as different products uh, anymore like they used to. However, you will probably see the Amex pop-up saying that you are ineligible for a bonus when you go to apply, so you could probably abort your application if the bonus is that important to you that you wouldn't otherwise get the card without the bonus. All right, now let's get into some kind of neutral changes and one change that's actually pretty good, okay? So neutral ones first. The additional gold cards that you used to be able to get on the Amex Platinum card. So if you don't know, there's two types of authorized user cards you can get on the Platinum. One is an actual authorized user Platinum card that you pay for, that's the one that's going up in price, and that gives you benefits like Hilton Gold status and airport lounge access and all that stuff. But you used to also be able to get um, actual gold cards. They were called gold cards, but they didn't really have any benefits. They just earned points in the same structure as the Platinum card, and they gave you no other benefits whatsoever. And these were free, okay? You could add these for free, which is really awesome. Well, they've changed the name of those, so they're no longer called additional gold cards. They're now called companion Platinum cards, all right? And I noticed this this morning when I opened up my Amex app, and I saw, I don't know if you can see that, but there is actually a white looking card below the Platinum third card down. And I was like, oh, what's this, right? And it's, um, yeah, it's actually a companion platinum card on my wife's account, okay? Because I had an authorized user, uh, authorized user gold card on my wife's Amex Platinum. And uh, I don't know, I never use it, but it's still on there. And yeah, they've, they've changed the name of that. And the card now appears sort of white, kind of like the Amex Zinc card from back in the day. Um, that's kind of a neutral change. Nothing really to report there. It's just sort of branding change. Let's now move on to two more changes to do with the digital entertainment credit. One positive, one negative. So if you don't know, the Amex Platinum offers a $240 digital entertainment credit. It's $20 per month. The negative change to do with this is that Audible is being removed from this credit as of October 2nd, all right? So Audible, if you don't know, it's 
audiobooks that you can download. I've actually been using the credit on my Platinum for that. I think I've got 13 credits at the moment. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, how clearly you can see that. But anyway, I've got 13 credits left. I do download audiobooks, but I'm not very good at listening to them. So I think 13 credits is going to last me like two or three years. So I don't really care that we're losing Audible because I've just got so many credits left. I'll probably download a load of books before it finishes and then just, you know, listen to them over the next few years. That's happening on October 2nd. But what is happening immediately, and this is a good change, is that the Wall Street Journal is being added as a media company that you can use the credit for, for their online subscription. And I'm actually subscribed to the journal. Aaron, do we have the journal? Your feelings journal? Michael, he means the Wall Street Journal online. Oh, the wall. I mean the wall. And uh, I find it very useful because it's got good financial news. Often they've got uh, those like uh, insider stories, those according to people with knowledge of the situation stories, which really do quite well. I sometimes use those stories for videos on this YouTube channel. Um, so I really do like the Wall Street Journal subscription. I think it's a you know pretty good value and stuff. So that's actually a big plus for me. I don't know if I'll actually use it for the Wall Street Journal though, because we also use the Platinum uh, Entertainment Credit for Sirius XM for our car. And we just added a new car. So I think we might, you know, we've got two Platinums in our family. We'll be using one for Sirius and one for Audible. We might just switch the Audible one to Sirius for the new car so that we get two Sirius XM subscriptions basically for free. I think we'll probably do that. But anyway, there's a lot of choice now. If you like the Wall Street Journal, as of now, you can add that, um, you know, you can use it for the Wall Street Journal subscription too. So guys, those are a load of changes to the Amex Platinum. Mostly negative, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. However, the plus point is that they only affect people with certain strategies. So if you weren't doing the authorized user strategy, if you didn't have kids that you were giving AU cards to, then it's not gonna affect you at all. Um, if you weren't thinking of like getting the bonuses on all the different versions of the Platinum, then that change wouldn't affect you either. I don't think the $8,000 per month spend requirement is really that big of a deal either. Um, and adding the Wall Street Journal is a plus side. So some people will be very disappointed with this. Some people, no effect. If you are interested in the Amex Platinum, and it is a really good card, guys. Don't, you know, just because there have been some negative changes, it's still a great card, gets you in a Centurion Lounge, etc. I'll put my credit card guide where you can learn more about the Platinum card and also the Gold cards, which are ones I really swear by as well. I, I use them for a lot. They earn four points per dollar on uh, dining and supermarkets, so I earn a lot of points that way. I'll put my credit card guide below where you can learn more about these cards. As always, using our links does help out our show, so we thank you very much if you do. And also, I'll put the link right at the top of the description for the sponsor of today's video, Max Rewards. It is very useful, especially the Gold version, getting all your Amex offers activated for you. And when you activate all your offers, actually new offers that you didn't know existed appear in your account okay the average user saves over $700 per year with Amex offers so that is the top link in the description as always guys please subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time bye bye